This is Monotheus, and you're watching Heavy New York. What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at the Kingsland in Brooklyn, and we are here with Monotheus. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. It's yeah, a pleasure. Yep. Yeah. It's so awesome to have you here. You're well into the record cycle for your latest record, Scourge. Do you just want to talk about like how the making of this record was, the recording, all that fun stuff? Yeah, sure. Um, it's kind of a weird thing because most of the music was actually recorded in 2015, so years before we released the actual album. Um, and that was, yeah, I was just very inspired. Uh, at the time, the band was different, and I was doing most of the writing. Like, maybe I wrote 90% of it. But, um, yeah, yeah, it came together over a period of years. And, yeah, we were able to get a record deal with Prosthetic and then release it in 2018, finally. There you go. Yeah. One thing I find unique is that monotheist music has like a fairly experimental side to it. Like I see elements of like technical death metal. I see elements of black metal, like so much. Like is is there like a sound that you try to go for with your music or do you just try to be as experimental as possible? In my case, I'm not particularly going for a sound other than what I think sounds like us, like our influences and uh, what styles we want to make. But I came into the band fairly late, like after Scourge had been written. So we're still figuring out exactly how my writing style goes with the band. I think we're on like what song two or three of yeah. my contributions. So awesome. those will be coming out soon and we'll see how people like them. Yeah. Were you like looking at the Scourge record and being like, this is how I have to play or did the rest of the band kind of want you to bring a little bit of your own mix? Well, it was a little bit of both. Like I intentionally wanted to go in and find the monotheist sound, like learn how to write it myself and then bring my own flair to it. So, mm -hmm. That helped a lot with uh, coming up with like a new uh, direction's the wrong word, but just like some more paths we could explore, you know, in our experimenting. Right. And that's one thing I really like about Chris. He's a great songwriter, a great musician. And, uh, you know, right now we're in we're deep in the process of writing our new record and he's making a lot of really great contributions. And so it's really great to bounce ideas off of him. And, um, you know, like he said, he's trying to kind of write in our style, like what it is in his head. And it's really cool to see his interpretation of the way that I write and, you know, blending those together. So the new music's gonna be really, really cool. We're really excited. Yeah. One thing I wanted to ask actually before we touch upon the new music is because you mentioned that Scourge, like the music was like written in like 2015, but like not released till like, you know, later. Did like the songs change quite a lot since between like when they were first written until they were released in a way? Not really. Um, the only way that they've changed maybe are some things that we do live when we play those songs, but most of it's been the same, which is why we're so excited to work on new music, you know, because when Scourge was released, it wasn't really representative of the band at that time. So this new stuff is going to be representative of us, you know, 2021, probably when it's gonna come out. Yeah, Like in my case, as the drummer, uh, Cooper has his own style and as a, it's very hard to imitate someone else's style exactly. So a lot of the drum parts they feel the same, but the roles are different or the accents are placed slightly differently. So that sort of stuff has changed live since we, uh, since I have joined the band. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, one thing like, cause you're talking about like the new music in the work. So either conceptually or sonically, this isn't just going to be a direct continuation of Scourge. This is going to be kind of like in a way, like a new star for Monotheist. Yeah, I would say so. Um, again, you know, we have someone new writing in the band as well. So it's going to be, you know, you'll still tell, you can still tell that it's us, that it's monotheist, but it's like a new step. It's it's evolution. The songs are tighter. They're more uh, coherent. There's a lot more attention being paid to um, the structuring of the songs, but I feel like it's still monotheist in the sense that it's still a blend of like, you know, the technical brutal aspects with like the more melodious kind of thing that we like to do and the progressive aspect of our music. So it's that, but maybe taken to the next level. Yeah. Now, when it comes to playing live, you mentioned that you like uh, this music off of Scourge. It kind of translates a little bit differently live. Is there maybe a similar energy that you channel into your live presence as you do when you are in songwriting, or are they two completely separate arts altogether? Man, I don't even know. Uh, I haven't really paid attention to that aspect. Uh. Yeah, um, I would say that... Uh, 
Yeah, they're they're pretty different. I would say that they're pretty different things, but um, you know, we're we're still kind of like trying to find our sound in, in what we want to do. Um, so we're still experimenting a lot, I would say, you know, both live and in the writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being that you experiment so much, is there ever a time where you revolve writing music around a preconceived idea or is there a lot of improvising involved? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll come up with uh, a lyrical idea and then try to write music around that. That's been a challenge because I've never done that before, but um, I, I always try to find new ways to write music maybe give myself some kind of limitations or boundaries and I find that sometimes I could open new creative pathways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do it a little bit differently, but I still have the limitations things. That's one of my favorite things to do as a writer is pick something you're not allowed to do. Like, okay, I'm not allowed to put blast beats in this song at all and see if you can work mm -hmm. around a great song around that. Or in my case, I like to write based on a story not necessarily like what ends up being the lyrics, but just some emotional valleys and curves that I have to target and get to in a certain amount of time helps me come up with creative solutions and interesting transitions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here comes the most difficult qu question in the whole interview. How do you know when a song is done? Oh, Lord. Uh, I get lucky in that I tend to write to completion and then go, I'm done with this and just pass it off and say, you make the leads. I don't want to deal with the guitar leads. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, you got the shit under the stick right there. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, for me, it's like, you know, I hate to say this cliche, but when it's done, it's done. You just feel it. You just feel it, you know? It is like a real feeling. Yeah, it really, it really is. It really is. Yeah. I wish I could say more about it, but it's just, you just know it, you know? Yeah, of course. So before we go, I want to thank you guys so much for your time today. Once again, is there just anything else with Monotheus you'd like to promote after this tour with Exist and Replicy? Or like, when could we be expecting the new album? Or any tour plans, if you're allowed to say, of course. Well, we don't have any announcements as to when the album is coming out. That's still being worked out. and But we do have the new single that just dropped at the start of this tour. It's called uh, Twilight of the Wolves. You can find it online. It's on YouTube. It's on Spotify. It's on all the places you could normally find it. We're really proud of that song. It was one of the most difficult songs I've ever recorded on drums. <laughs> Could that maybe serve as like a clear representation on the direction that you're going for this new album, or is it going to be even way more diverse? It'd be more diverse, you yeah. know, some songs. But I think at the same time, it is... Uh, um, a representation of what people could expect because that song will be on the new album uh, probably re-recorded or something but it's going to be on the new album so people can kind of get a little taste of what's to come awesome well thank you guys so much everybody we are here with monotheist pickup scourge if you haven't yet and check out their latest single we'll see you next time on heavy new york all right